This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm Chapter 34 The Fox and the Horse A farmer had a horse that had been an excellent, faithful servant to him. But he was now grown too old to work, so the farmer would give him nothing more to eat, and said, I want you no longer, so take yourself out of my stable. I shall not take you back again until you are stronger than a lion. Then he opened the door and turned him adrift. The poor horse was very melancholy and wandered up and down in the wood, seeking a little shelter from the cold wind and rain. Presently a fox met him. What's the matter, my friend? said he. Why do you hang your head and look so lonely and woebegone? Ah, replied the horse, justice and avarice never dwell in one house. My master has forgotten all that I have done for him so many years, and because I can no longer work, he has turned me adrift and says, unless I become stronger than a lion, he will not take me back again. What chance have I of that? He knows I have none, or he would not talk so. However, the fox bid him be of good cheer, and said, I will help you. Lie down there, stretch yourself out quite stiff, and pretend to be dead. The horse did as he was told, and the fox went straight to the lion who lived in a cave close by, and said to him, A little way off lies a dead horse. Come with me, and you may make an excellent meal of his carcass. The lion was greatly pleased, and set off immediately, and when they came to the horse, the fox said, You will not be able to eat him comfortably here. I'll tell you what, I will tie you fast to his tail, and then you can draw him to your den, and eat him at your leisure. This advice pleased the lion, so he laid himself down quietly for the fox to make him fast to the horse. But the fox managed to tie his legs together, and bound all so hard and fast that with all his strength he could not set himself free. When the work was done, the fox clapped the horse on the shoulder and said, Jeep, Dobbin, jeep. Then he sprang and moved off, dragging the lion behind him. The beast began to roar and bellow, till all the birds of the woods flew away for fright. But the horse let him sing on and made his way quietly over the fields to his master's house. Here he is, master, said he. I have gotten the better of him. And when the farmer saw his old servant, his heart relented, and he said, Thou shalt stay in the stable and be well taken care of. And so the poor horse had plenty to eat and live till he died. End of chapter 34 Read by Philip Colderman, Minneapolis, Minnesota